what is the time scape model and why do why are people predicting that this model will end the dark mat the dark matter theory okay time scape so time scape doesn't it's not about dark matter it's about dark energy so first of all what is dark energy dark energy is this uh, energy that is hypothesized to permeate space time across the universe and it is this mysterious force or substance that is believed to be behind that is believed to be the driving factor of the expansion of the universe the accelerating expansion of the universe okay that's dark energy and dark energy accounts for roughly 70% of the mass energy composition of the universe about 24 25% is dark matter which is a different thing and whatever we see all the luminous matter is about 4 for an hour 5% of the universe roughly very roughly i'm telling you now what is this time scape model so so this this model of dark energy all that is the lambda cdm model the standard model of physics now the time scape model is a new theory it's a ground breaking cosmological theory and it challenges the existence of dark energy and it offers an alternative explanation for the observed exp- exp- uh, observed expansion of the universe which is accelerating expansion of the universe now this was this theory was developed by researchers in new zealand at the university of canterbury i believe and it's a whole different interpretation of uh, cosmic structure and evolution so the standard model of physics the standard lambda cold dark matter lambda cdm model says that the lambda cdm model assumes a smooth and uniformly expanding universe but the time scape model takes into account the granularity or lumpiness of cosmic structure we know that the universe the actual universe is not smooth we know there is lumpiness there is granularity there are large areas of of space that are empty then you have galaxies which are very lumpy in nature a lot of matter there you have galaxy super clusters and there are voids so the universe is not smooth it is lumpy so the time scape model takes into account this lumpiness of uh, cosmic structure so it essentially is acknowledging the existing of gla- galaxy clusters and filaments and the voids uh, that come in between these and so on so according to this model and so we know we have general relativity which has effects like in special relativity which has uh, which has effects like uh, time dilation and length contraction and all that relativistic effects so the the time scape model says that gravitational fields affect the rate of the passage of time differently in various re- regions of the universe in regions of the universe in areas of the universe where you have higher matter concentration like galaxy clusters and superclusters time passes more slowly compared to cosmic voids which are amp- which are mostly empty of matter and because of these time dilation effects uh cosmic expansion cannot be uniform that's what the time scape model suggests so in the regions of the universe where you have voids no mass or very little mass over there time passes faster and these regions ex- experience more expansion over billions of years compared to areas of the universe which are matter dense so this model it uh it says essentially that uh, dark energy is an illusion it says that the perceived acceleration of the universe's expansion is actually an illusion caused by the uneven passage of time across the cosmos very interesting uh, theory and by accounting for this irregular distribution of matter and the effect it has on the passage of time the time scape model can explain the observed cosmic acceleration without invoking the concept of dark energy now do we have any uh, any evidence that supports the time scape model so uh, there was an analysis that was done of about 1500 type 1a supernovae and this is called the pantheon plus data set and this analysis of this data set suggests that the time scape model fits observational data slightly better than the standard lambda cdm model so there seems to be evidence in favor 
of the time scale model and that's why it's it's uh, it's evincing so much interest of late so the the time scale model resolves potentially resolves various anomalies and tensions in the current uh, model and uh, in the current cosmological observations i'm not sure if it resolves the hubble tension problem but it seems to be doing a better job than the lambda cdm model so it's a very promising model but further research and observational data and all that need is needed to fully validate this model and if it does happen it could potentially revolutionize our understanding of the universe's expansion and its structure and the way time passes in various parts of the universe